Hey, first grade, just a quick check in. So today you're going to be writing fact three, which is just like fact one and fact two. You're just going to add some detail. Again, I've been seeing some really great papers from some of you that have just sent it to me to show me how it's going. Um, I'm really excited to see the finished product. So today you're going to receive the next set of Arctic lessons as well. And for that first week of lessons, we will be um, focusing on finishing up this project. I don't want there to be too, too much writing this week because this was a big project. This was a big story to write. Um, so things will slow down a little bit. We're going to have like a flip grid later on that you can share a page of your writing to. And I would like for everyone to try and comment on a couple of your classmates' flip grids if possible. Um, just to show support for each other with your writing because you guys are doing such a great job. So um, make sure that you get fact three done today. If you are wanting to do a fact four, it's up to you. It's not in the schedule, so you would need to do that today also or in the next couple days. Um, but we will be putting the book together soon. So if you want fact four, you'll want to get that done as well. All right, here is me going over my fact three. I'm not going to get too into it because it's very similar to the other two, but you can see what I wrote. Here is my third fact. The heading for this page is communication. Cats purr to communicate. Purring means a cat is happy. Cats meow to communicate too. They also communicate through their facial expressions. So this whole page was all about the ways that cats might communicate. Um, make sure that you finish up fact three today. If you are doing a fact four, you also might want to try and get it done today, but just take your time. There's no rush. All right, guys, I can't wait to see these.